Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add an email marketing plugin for a WooCommerce site. So if you are brand new to e-commerce or maybe you're established for a while and you have a WooCommerce store, you're looking to add an email marketing plugin and this tutorial will help you out today. I'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how to install an email marketing plugin on your WooCommerce site and how to get things up and running as well as showing you a few different aspects of the email marketing tool that can help you. Now before we dive into the tutorial, I do want to mention of course this video is sponsored and brought to you by OmniSend. So OmniSend is today's video sponsor. We're going to be using the OmniSend email marketing tool as well when we are installing into WooCommerce. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get set up with OmniSend. They of course do have a free version as well so you can get started for free and install the plugin on your WooCommerce store and your WooCommerce site. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump right in things but before we do I also do want to mention if you want to get signed up with OmniSend I would recommend going ahead and check out that first link down below in the description it's brennanvaleski.com forward slash OmniSend. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get signed up with OmniSend and create your OmniSend and free account. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Of course, so you're going to want to make sure, of course, that you have your WooCommerce store. So whether you already have your WordPress hosting set up, make sure you have that all taken care of first. Now to add the actual email marketing plugin to your WooCommerce store. Uh, again, like I mentioned before, we are going to be using OmniSend since they are today's video sponsor. Uh, and as you can see here, they do have the email marketing plugin. They also, in addition to the regular traditional email marketing, sending out emails, uh, you also can collect emails, you know, turn those subscribers into buyers and things like that, along with their different pop-ups that work right for WooCommerce. So as you can see here, uh, OmniSend has pop-ups and sign-up forms that you can get set up with. They also have email newsletters that you can send out, uh, drag and drop builders, uh, ready-made automations, SMS marketing, and pre-designed templates as well. And one other thing I did want to mention too, before we dive into the technical aspect of actually installing the plugin and getting set up with OmniSend, is that they do actually have really solid customer support. As you can see here, uh, across the reviews on Shopify, you know, a lot of other different types of email marketing tools or other just uh, software tools in general, ones that I talk about here on the channel, as well as out there in general, have kind of poor customer support. Typically, it's hard to get quick responses. You don't have that like 24-hour uh, time frame, but with OmniSend, you do actually get really solid 24-7 customer support. Uh, as well, they do have some of their support agents listed here, even on their homepage front and center here. Uh, you know, people like Ariana or Luis, you know, in general, their customer support, you can feel like you're actually going to get your answers solved if you have any problems, which of course, with any kind of technical tool, it is something to keep in mind that, hey, if you have any technical problems or run into things along the way, you can at least make sure that you have solid support there. So I did want to mention that and put that out there as well before we dive into the tutorial. So in terms of getting started and connecting your WooCommerce store, uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and start free here with OmniSend. Now I have already gone in and signed into my WordPress site here. This is just my brennvaleski.com site. Uh, that's where we're going to be installing the plugin on here today. So of course, WordPress and WooCommerce, essentially the same thing. If you have the WooCommerce app or plugin added as well, you're, you're adding it to your WordPress store or your WordPress site in general. So your WooCommerce site, WordPress site, same difference there. Uh, in general, but what we're going to go ahead and do is come over to the plugin section. Now, of course, yours may look slightly different colors. I have the coffee theme enabled, so we're going to go over to plugins and we're going to go ahead and select add new. And as you can see here, we have the different plugins and we're going to go ahead and search for uh, OmniSend. And then it will come up here, email marketing for WooCommerce by OmniSend, as you can see here really solid stars, lots of active installations. So a lot of people do use uh, OmniSend for their email marketing with WooCommerce. So we're gonna go ahead and click install now. And as you can see here, installed, and all you have to do is click the activate button and then this will add it to your list of plugins on your WordPress site, your WooCommerce site. Now, next of course, we are going to have to go ahead and connect the OmniSend account. 
uh, to start utilizing the plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you in just a second. Okay, now once you've gone ahead and created your OmniSend account, now on the plugin within WooCommerce and WordPress, it should show that you are now connected to OmniSend. So you're gonna make sure, of course, you go ahead, complete your full account sign up, verify it through your email address, and then now we can go to OmniSend and start actually setting up the email marketing tool. So now we're gonna go ahead and go over over to OmniSend and as you can see here through the sign up process we have our overall brand assets so as you can see here uh, these are the general brand assets that it took from my website as you can see here it's just got the blue and gray uh, from my Brennan Valesky website so if you want to change your logo you can do that here replace your logo remove it uh, you can go ahead and edit your accent colors as well so maybe if you want something green for your buttons or maybe you want to keep it blue maybe a little darker blue, something like that. So it will just sort of generally take from the colors you already have on your current site. So maybe we wanna go something like that or just stick with what was there. Uh, as you can see here, these are sort of the overall uh, color palette options uh, that we are editing. Now in terms of the fonts, you can also change out the fonts. So the headings, uh, the overall look and feel of things, the different paragraph pieces as well. As you can see here, it's just changing there. Uh, and then you can also have your social links there, which I already have, as you can see, my YouTube channel and my Instagram handle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and save the brand assets here. Uh, you can always go back and edit those later. So as you can see here, now that we are signed in with OmniSend, now you can go ahead and complete these four different steps in order to start recovering abandoned carts. So you do have abandoned cart recovery with OmniSend, which is really key for your WooCommerce store. You can also welcome new subscribers to your uh, email list, collect subscribers, and even send emails as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click, you know, let's do this. Uh, as you can see here, it'll bring up the goals section. I'm just gonna close out of that there. Now you can go ahead and set up your workflows. Now I'm not gonna be going through exactly every nook and cranny here within OmniSend, but as a general rule, uh, of course you have your abandoned cart recovery that you can go ahead and set up with the different workflows. You have a welcome bundle as well, uh, which is great of course when you get your email marketing set up. You can also drive traffic uh, to your store via your email campaign. So these are all things that you can get set up with easily with OmniSend. As you can see, the overall signup process and plugin installation is fairly easy as well uh, with this tool. Now we're gonna go ahead and click through here just to show you a little bit more of OmniSend as well. Uh, beyond just the goals, of course, you can also track your overall sales performance in here, uh, track your overall email subscribers, SMS subscribers as well. Uh, and you also have a live view too, which is really cool if you're maybe sending out an email and you wanna see you know, current contact activity and make sure things are going right and track uh, your overall progress uh, along with the overview, which these analytics are really top notch. Honestly, I've been in a lot of other email marketing tools and not all of them exactly have it so sleek and simple. Uh, as OmniSend in general, they did not pay me to say that, but I, I'm just saying like it does definitely uh, look like a lot nicer in terms of most others that I've seen. Going along into the campaign section, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and create a couple test campaigns here just to show you what it looks like. Uh, you have campaigns, you also have automation, the forms as well. You're, again, your overall audience, so myself, <laughs> me, myself, and I in here, uh, as well as your reports as well. So you have your uh, standard, advanced reporting, and overall uh, deliverability tracking that you have there again. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a basic little email campaign. So all you have to do here is just click in create email. You can do a split test as well if you wanna send out multiple different variations. You also have SMS campaigns, push notifications. So we're just gonna go ahead and click a, create a simple email. So you can easily set up your subject line. So maybe a summer sale or something like that. Uh, summer sale, 40% uh, off or something like that, you know. Uh, 40 off or use code, something like that. So you can set up your little subject line. You could even uh, generate a su subject line as well. So get 40% off now. So this is sort of almost like a little AI tool that they have built in here, which is pretty nice. So you can get uh, custom ideas, save 40% this summer, summer sale, save 40% off. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just apply that one, 40% off now. 
And you can even boost your campaign as well uh, with additional second subject lines. So that's option that you have there as well. Your sender uh, name. So you would just enter in your store name. So let's just say uh, shop uh, discount discount shop or something. I don't know. Uh, you have your your shop name, or you could even put in like a uh, like a person's name. So maybe like Mary. Mary from um, Mystical uh, dr Dreams. If it's like a, I don't know, some sort of a Zodiac thing or something like that, like Zodiac bracelets or something, you know, Mystical Dream, Zodiac thing, I don't know. Uh, you also have your pre-header and your overall uh, campaign name. You can auto post things to Facebook as well. You can track uh, UTM tags. We're just gonna go ahead and click next step. Uh, sender's email address. I'll just send it, uh, you know, from mine. Now, in general, another thing to keep in mind is, of course, you do want to use your business email address when you are sending uh, emails. It will improve your overall deliverability. Sending things from a Gmail account uh, is not necessarily the best. It's, you know, your overall deliver deliverability may be hurt. So that is one little tip I do have is, you know, if you're gonna be sending out a lot of emails, try and do it through a business email uh, through your domain. So say for example, my domain, obviously brennanbaleski.com, you know, if I had that set up for this account here, you know, it would be like brennan at brennanbaleski.com. Just keep that in mind if you are uh, sending a lot of emails that will help your deliverability. Um, just something to keep in mind. So as you can see here in terms of what we're actually going to be sending So you can choose from a wide variety of different templates as well uh, For your you know, if we were trying to offer a discount as you can see here boom You've got your little discount templates. I think these look really nice uh, Nice little templates that they've got set up here. Uh, you also have your welcome and engagement ones uh, sales promoting different products so you can really get everything set up you know exactly how you'd want it depending on your theme maybe if you're in a specific niche category uh, we're, we're just going to use the discount code template something like that uh, now of course uh, there is also AI assistant as you can see here creating your best email so boom so we're going to go ahead and you know tell AI what to do uh, discount summer discount or something like that so if you were just to type in summer discount, you know, take advantage of our summer discount, it'll type that out in terms of what uh, text you are uh, want there. Expires, and you can set in your expiration dates and you can type in your discount code there as well. So for this one, it's just a welcome discount. We got welcome 10, right? Very basic little discount. Uh, you can also market some of your WooCommerce products. Of course, I don't actually have products in this store here. Uh, it, this is just an example video, uh, but you can also link directly to your products from your emails, which is really nice as well. So as you can see here, lots of different templates, lots of things you, so you can customize. Your logo from your site will show up automatically at the top there. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and click finish editing. And you can also send test emails, which I would recommend to do. Uh, so we'll send it to all subscribers. So I guess I will, uh, you know, we're just going to save and close. I don't need to send that to myself. Uh, but yeah, that's how easy it is to go ahead and send your little campaigns. You also have your overall automation. So setting up your abandoned cart, your checkout, things like that. We're going to go ahead and walk through the workflows real fast here. So you can set like a 15, 5 or 10% uh, discount code for the third email. So this is really nice to set up those automated workflows for abandoned carts and just trying to get people back to your store in general. Uh, definitely good for your overall sales and marketing, especially within WooCommerce where the basic default stuff isn't necessarily you know, great. Like you really do want a tool like OmniSend to improve your overall email marketing. So to start workflows, uh, all you have to do is click there and they even have pre-made workflows here as well, like abandoned carts. Uh, this one is already uh, enabled, as you can see here, the first email sent immediately after the customer starts their checkout, and it is automatically linked to your WooCommerce store as well. So you don't have to worry, as long as you do have, make sure, you, of course, you have WooCommerce installed on your store or on your WordPress site, and it will automatically connect through uh, with OmniSend and WooCommerce there. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, as you can see here, we have the abandoned checkout workflow. So if we want to edit that, you know, you can go in and edit the different workflows and trigger delays, you know, how, how much time you want people to wait, 
uh, when people start their checkout, maybe 11 hours, 12 hours. You can cut that time down as well uh, if you want to, like a last call. So it's already pretty much set up for you. So you don't even really have to edit too much there. It's already ready to go. Uh, in terms of email collection forms, this is also super important. So you can actually collect those emails in the first place in case you're uh, maybe not migrating from an existing email uh, software. So you can go ahead and collect emails as well in your store. As you can see here, you know, get 10% off your first order and boom, that's all you got to do. You can just enable it uh, and it will be set up, you know, on your site. Uh, and it will automatically pop up for people to get those 10% uh, discounts. As you can see here, you can also send an automated uh, email as well. So we're going to go ahead and skip that there. So we're going to go ahead and go to my site. Uh, so as you can see here, and boom, as you can see, the little Omni powered by OmniSend, 10% off your first order. So very clean, very simple. You can go easily go in and edit that too, of course. But as you can see, just as fast as that, it's already set up. We can start collecting emails, subscribers off of our site and our WooCommerce store. Just really, really nice. Again, one of the other benefits of using a tool like OmniSense. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off just for now. But I just want to show you what it looked like on your site. And again, those are all of the main tools here within OmniSend. I really am just scratching the surface in terms of all that you can do in this tool. But again, like you, as you saw, it's really, really easy to get set up with this tool in your WordPress site and more importantly on your WooCommerce store. So uh, again, I do want to thank OmniSend for sponsoring today's video walkthrough, how to add an email marketing plugin to your WooCommerce store. As you can see, it really is just that simple to go in and install and add the plugin, get signed up with OmniSend, and start improving your overall email marketing campaigns, sending out those abandoned cart emails, collecting those emails, just improving your overall marketing ROI. So again, I do wanna thank OmniSend. You can go ahead and check them out and sign up for OmniSend at that first link down below in the description. It's brennanvaleski.com forward slash OmniSend. So again, thank you to OmniSend for sponsoring today's video. And guys, if you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that was all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.